Okay. What a what a great day for me to be able to spend my my some time with you three fabulous ladies. Eleanor, I want to start with you. Um, and I do have to mention off the top of this interview that your movie Hearts of Darkness, I'm speaking to you from Toronto. Uh, we're going back like 30 odd years here, but that movie changed my life because it was one of the first films I covered at the Toronto International Film Festival. And uh, I just wanted to let you know that because it was such a brilliant film. So thank you for that. Thank you. Thanks. You're welcome. You're welcome. It's so nice to see you do a film like this. And I wanted to know how it all originated in your mind. I know you co-wrote it, um, but where, where do these stories come from and why did you decide to do it in like three separate chapters? Well, these stories do come from fragments of my real life. I'm really basically a documentarian. Yes. So they, they spring from something I know about or I experienced or I heard about and uh, that just sort of prompted me wanting to write that little story. So I usually I prepare the story and then my co-writer steps in and helps me with uh, making the dialogue more lightweight and more, uh, you know, and enjoyable and, and just and bringing some really good ideas to the plot and so forth. Yeah. So which of the stories related to you the most? Well, I think probably the last one, because I did actually experience a friend's passing and her uh, daughter and daughter-in-law uh, had a lunch for about yeah. 30 women. It wasn't uh, around the table, but so many deep and touching conversations came out of that, that I, I kind of, I wanted to bring it to the screen. There's a, a kind of um, conversation that goes on between women when there's no men in the room. Yes. I tried to bring that kind of quality to this and, and express it on the screen. You did. Uh, Rita, let's go to you now. I, um, I, I loved, as Eleanor said, I love this dynamic of these women at the table and that they were all, you know, some of them were strangers, like they had never met each other before, but they were all there uh, with this common bond to support the daughter who was grieving because she had lost her mother. Tell me a little bit about what it was like for you, Rita, to sit around that table and have that kind of bond with these wonderful actresses. I'll tell you exactly what it was like. Rosanna and I were roommates in our dressing room because we shot in this house. Yeah. And uh, I believe I said this to her one day, but I was like, oh, this is my, what it must be like when men go to work on every movie. Because for the first time we were surrounded by women. Yes. Women in almost every department and a, a great female director and screenwriter. And there was an ease to it and a, a, a shorthand to it all. Right. Eleanor started every day with um, a meditation and an intention for each of our characters so that we could just center ourselves and then be present for that day's uh -huh. shooting and for that day's scene. I've never had anybody do that on a movie before. I don't know why, but I have to say that it's probably because there's a different sensitivity to yes. um, working with uh, females. We understand each other. And it was super satisfying to have that. And it did actually um, set an intention. We wrote on a piece of paper what we wanted it to be for that day. And wow. Eleanor always sent us off with homework to do about our characters. And so it was very complete as an experience. And then, of course, I got to have fantastic Rosanna as my roommate, which was great. Hello. <laughs> so Hello. Yeah. I had to be quiet for her naps. <laughs> That's right. We did take, I did take a nap every day. Well, good for you. You deserve that, 100%. Now, Rosanna, I, I mean, I was... Yeah, I, I was going to say, Rosanna, I want to ask you because, yes, getting this experience and working so closely with these lovely actresses, what a gift from God. But when Eleanor Coppola comes and says, I want you to be in my movie, like, is that a no brainer? Yeah, it was. You just say, OK, thanks. <laughs> it's like, yeah, of course, um, I've always been a fan of hers anyway, of course. And I mean, we know her husband, but that, you know, because like you said, with her documentary, um, Heart's, Dark Heart's Darkness. Um, and I just wanted to have this experience to go away and connect with women. And I just knew, because I know she worked closely with um, a, a, a Greta Seacat, who's a, a, a teacher, a wonderful acting teacher and, and, and some of the work that she was doing, like the intentions in the beginning was part of that work. 
And I, I, I was excited because she understood, she understood how to bring everybody together in a really connected way. And, um, and we, we all, we bonded. I met, so, I met, you know, really neat people on there that I hadn't met before. So. Really yeah, and it's nice too, because to see the two of you, I mean, you know, you don't do a ton of things. Like we don't see you in every freaking movie that comes out. So it's so lovely to see, to see you guys. You know why that you, is, Bonnie? Why is that? They don't write roles like this. Well, they especially for women like our age, for right? Women, yes. And they don't care to write roles like this for women. Yeah. And it takes somebody like Eleanor to say, I'm going to do it and then cast it and make the movie. But yeah. the truth is, I, I'm just tired of, of pretending that they're all great roles out there. There are, but there aren't that many. Yeah, and, and I agree. And I listen, I'm, I'm the same age as, as you ladies. And I, I have to say it was so refreshing for me uh, because on all three levels of each story, Eleanor, like I could really relate to a lot of them. Um, and I, and I, you know, I, I just wanted to know at the end of the day, you know, you talk about friendship, you talk about love, you talk about something that needs to exist. Eleanor, what is the secret to such a long and successful marriage? Well, I, I tell it in the uh, first short story. Don't get divorced. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> sometimes we have no choice though, right? <laughs> Well, then you don't have a long and successful marriage. You have a short and successful marriage. You have a successful marriage up until a point. Ladies, listen, thank you so much for your time today. I really, really did enjoy this film. And what a, what a pleasure and honor for me to have a chance to talk to all three of you today. Happy holidays and all the thank best. Thank you, Bonnie. Okay. Thanks so much.